What's up, guys? We are back with another YouTube video. Hey, it's your boy, Zaya TV. <laughs> <laughs> and then the shizzy, yeah. We're back at it. Today we're doing, uh, this was requested through our Patreon, through our Discord channel, on our video suggestion tab. And a ton of comments. And a ton of comments. This mm. is also the best sounding version of the song that we found and with English subtitles. Yeah, so they, they said so it we understand in why you guys are sending Discord yeah. that the regular one or the, guess the best version of it doesn't have English subs. Mm. We can't work with that. Just this. Can't work with that, so we need English subs. <laughs> uh, so they said this is the best one to react to. Yeah. This. So that's what we're going to do. Uh, we have a couple new patrons to go over, as well as some other announcements, and then we'll jump into the video. So we got Yvonne with the loyal support to your patron. Thank, Thank you, you so Yvonne. much. And we got Thank Lori with the support to your patron. Thank you so much. Here's the updated list. You guys are awesome. Thank you to all of our new patrons, old yeah, patrons. Yeah, past patrons. Ones anyone hanging considering around. to become a patron. Yeah, yeah, I think we're like, we have some two-monther patrons now. Yeah, I mean, yeah, awesome. we're, we're definitely getting there. Uh, so a couple of things in regards to Patreon and uh, the Born Singer. Born yeah. Singer, uh, the copyright label actually got back to me. First time it's ever happened. Blocked and the they were like, uh, we reviewed your dispute and uh, said, fuck you. So it's blocked. We can't release it on YouTube, yep. unfortunately. I'm going to try to find a way to post it on the Patreon. So hopefully Patreon will allow me just to upload directly to it. I haven't yep. checked that yet. Uh, it should allow me. I don't know why. Yeah, I've seen it in the past. Yeah, so uh, I'll just do it there. So if you're a Patreon, you can watch the Born Singer reaction. If you're not a Patreon, I'm sorry. There's no way we can get it to you yeah. because... YouTube blocked it. Yeah. So, um, yeah, so just that. And if you do want to see that video as well as get other cool exclusive perks and tons of other great things, private Discord, patreon.com slash ITV. Yep. Great place. Um, we love you guys so much. Again, I'm really sorry that video got blocked. I'm, I'm very upset about that. Yeah, no, I wanted like, everyone was, to be able was, to see it. We had such a positive message in that one too. That was one was that was such a fantastic deep song, one. Deep it's song, yeah. deep song. I love that song. Yeah. That's one of my favorite BTS songs. So I'm really sorry not everyone can yeah, see it. But really you know, Patreon tier starting was a dollar a month. If you just want to join in for a dollar yeah. and, and watch the video, then go ahead by all means. You don't yeah. have to stick around. I totally get it. But anyway, um, so that's all for for that. Mm -hmm. uh, another announcement we do have really quick is that like he will be leaving soon. Yeah, I will be out. Of town on this upcoming Monday not this because today is Monday for us yeah so uh, exactly a week Monday, yeah one week I will be gone for a week so you will have some solo Zaya TV content which will be a lot of fun yes. I'm sure you guys will have a lot of good times with that um, hopefully we can get him streaming I'm, I'm hoping that like I'll leave, he'll stream for a week, and then he'll love it. We gotta get that. We gotta, yeah, gotta get the internet. Yeah, if you want me to stream, but uh, yeah, we'll see. We'll see what happens. I'm excited just to you know have some one on one time with you guys. But yeah, it'll be really good. Without my better half there, I don't know how. <laughs> you let's start. Let's got start it. those relationship <laughs> <laughs> theories down in the comments. Oh, gosh. All right. Anyway, yeah. uh, enough of this. Let's get into this. Yeah, I'm excited because I think this is probably one of the most like requested ones I've seen in, in the yeah. comments. Yeah, and, and for people to direct. Ready? Yep. Okay. Yo, oh. whoa, like, what an applicable song. Yeah, like they're dropping like just straight up heat and it, like it sounds amazing. I love this yeah. overall sound of this, but I, I'm gonna let you go first. Yeah, this is this is awesome. So like, I mean, obviously this isn't like a crazy in-depth like, idea, right? Like they're talking about how like we're not really built, like this generation's not built to succeed, right? Like it really sucks because like, like they're talking about how superiors are abusing their power and he's like, get a, get a part-time job and don't pay. That's so true. And they talk about like how you mm -hmm. work just to sustain. Mm -hmm. That's so fucking true. It's like you can work your butt off but in like you're barely taking home enough money to pay bills and then you still go in the negative every month. Yeah. And that's really unfortunate. And like it really does suck. It's like you have these expectations, right? 
but you, you can never reach them. And mm-hmm. then, like, it's old ideals that we're still held to as a newer generation. Yeah, and, you know, what I'm picking up from this, too, is also the fact that, like, because they're talking about Silver Spoons, they're talking mm-hmm. about the older generation, is uh, it's kind of similar to what's happening in America. I'm sure this is referring oh, yeah. to Korean culture, what's happening over yeah. there in Korea, but it's similar with America. So, you know, in America, we have the baby boomers. We have these old generations yeah, that are like, oh, if you just work hard and, yeah. and go to school and do all this, you'll be successful. It's basically guaranteed. You should buy, You can buy a house, do all these things. Things. Yeah, and like that worked back then for them. Yeah, because I'm sure like this is the exact same generation. It worked for them because that was a time of economic growth. Like it mm-hmm. was insane, right? That does not work like that anymore. Like no, you can work not. nowadays, and you can work your ass off and still not succeed. Yeah, and, you're and, not guaranteed anything anymore. Oh, absolutely not. And then like I like the idea of the like the silver spoon, right? It's like oh yeah, it's like everything was is set up for us, right? We're supposed to have an easy life, mm-hmm. but actually. Like what they did when like they worked to get like where they are, right? Kind of like mess it up for us. So now like we don't have a silver spoon. We don't have like an easy lining to go yeah. into and like go into life. We kind of just have a harder cliff to climb. Exactly. If anything. Yeah. I want to get back into it, but yeah, yeah. I, I yeah, can definitely true. see where this is going, and I love the message so yeah, far. Yeah, the beat is solid. Too. It's really nice. Like it, it's, it's got a very good boppy yeah, feel. Like boppy. head boppy. Yeah. I love how their dance moves kind of reflect like almost their parents. I guess like they're, they're like parents like living up to the name, right? Mm-hmm. Like like them like doing this, like, mm, you know, hurry mm-hmm. up. They're like quoting like, yeah. like their superiors or their parents, right? And it's I think it's so funny because the dance moves are very like, they're very like trolly and like very mm-hmm. like lighthearted. And it's like, it's like, yeah, hurry up, chase them. And then yeah. like, they go back into it and then like, it's just so cool and also they're very, just very impressive dancers oh yeah you? I mean it's BTS like yeah. come on like so another thing that I'm noticing as mm-hmm. I'm, I'm paying attention more and more to the lyrics and everything like that and they're like reinforcing these ideas that you know we talked about previously is uh, I also want to add that in Asian cultures most Asian cultures specifically that I feel like there's even more pressure put on their younger oh, generations yeah. you know I like the like because America like we don't really focus on things like honor and stuff like yeah. that like it's still important over here don't get me wrong like your parents want you to succeed and stuff like that yeah. but it's taken a lot more serious in Asian cultures yeah, you know absolutely. that's very much more serious than like bringing honor to your family and and, and living like being up to successful, the name, living think, up to yeah. the name yeah, yeah just like they're saying you know having these really high expectations for them mm-hmm. and you know well like that's that's the thing nowadays is like last names in america don't really matter as much no they right? don't mean they don't really yeah mean anything. it's like it doesn't hold like it's not your family name like nobody has family crest anymore or anything like yeah. that right but like over there it's like it's very like you know your family name is like mm-hmm. you have to represent when you do things right like you represent that yeah exactly and i don't know if this is applicable to korea i'm not trying to like like yeah, yeah. compare over, or say like yeah, or over. like or cast or anything mm-hmm. but i know that like in japan at least like the last mm-hmm. name actually goes first in mm-hmm. language you know yeah that's how important it is yeah there so I, again i don't know if that's the same for korea but the, it just kind of gives you an idea that like it's mm-hmm. definitely more important over there yeah like, i think it's like name. trade and then your name right i think it's yeah like, yeah and it's yeah. that's so cool because it's like it's showing what you're good at and like what name is backing it up mm-hmm. and like it, we look at it i was i was watching this video and it was talking about like the katana makers in japan right and like how every name has like this lineage behind it and every like son or whatever had their own distinct style of making the Mm. swords and got passed down passed down passed down and like 
it's so cool to see that like that's a thing right and yeah. those generations are still making swords in japan or whatever yeah and they're still like passing down these traditions and you don't really get like the closest thing you get to that is a trust fund kid yeah in, in america yeah so like korean yeah. korean asian culture is like definitely different when it comes mm -hmm. to that it's just more important over there yeah and so i think like this why that's why even though this song can't apply over here in america yeah. which it does uh it's really important over there because yeah. they have a lot more expectations and like um i also saw that the give up on the three give up on the five from dope mm -hmm. um I saw somewhere. I think someone might have like made a comment about it. But give up on the three, like because I didn't know what that map. I mean, third mm -hmm. generation, fifth generation, but it means yeah. give up on like marriage, kids, and and uh, yeah, social life or something else. Give up on the five is like marriage, kids, social life, work life, like all that stuff. Mm -hmm. Like that's what it actually meant. And so I thought that was really interesting too. And I'm sure that like there'll probably be a reference in here to that because they're, they're kind of talking about similar yeah. things and dope to this. Yeah, you know, it's kind of like. It's, Jason. It, yeah, it is really, really cool to see him. And it's it's a great message and it like as he's saying, like it applies to us here in America as well. Yeah. Ready? Yep. Hey, hey. Okay, hold on. I really want to yeah. talk about Sugar's uh, verse right there because, like, he threw out some really, like, just mm -hmm. incredibly impressive things. I loved it. So, I have try hard legs, you have silver spoon legs. Mm -hmm. That, I mean, it simply put as that. This is someone who was saying, like, hey, I worked I've hard worked for everything. For I, did, I wasn't yeah. born into it. You have yeah. silver spoon. Like, you were born into wealth. You were born yeah. into that. Like, you had things handed to you. Yeah. You know, that's pretty obvious, right? Yeah. You say your legs are worth a million dollars. My legs are shorter. How can we play in the same league? You yeah. Know? And, like, I think that's really cool because, like, not everyone is born at the same, like, starting point, mm -hmm. you know, but you can still reach the same finish line. Like, just because mm -hmm. someone has a head start on you doesn't mean that you can't achieve that same amount of success or even more. And huh. I, I like that message, too, because it's true. You know what I mean? Yeah. And it's not just about working hard or being a tryhard and stuff. Like, a lot of other factors go into it. Mm -hmm. But I love the fact that it's also saying that, like, hey, you can work hard and be successful but you're not guaranteed like you used to be yeah i also really like that we're like putting tryhards in a positive connotation here mm -hmm. because like in general you're like oh you're a fucking tryhard it's like yeah. oh, especially yeah. in gaming it's yeah, very yeah, yeah, yeah. negative Game, i guess so we have like a very gaming uh pr perspective of that right but it's like getting called a tryhard is sometimes bad right it's like oh you're doing too much whereas everyone else is slacking behind but it's actually really a good thing it should be a compliment mm -hmm. and they're using it as a positive thing here they're like no i'm trying i'm a tryhard man look my like I these legs are working mm -hmm. these legs are working way harder than yours are and yeah. i think that's so cool and i, I mm -hmm. really do like that we are we have a positive message in here as well as yeah. like you can be successful by working hard Yep, and the last thing I want to say about mm. this is this is this line. It's fine as they say it's fine as long as you're on the same field. You know what mm. this exactly reminds me of? If you guys, trophies. <laughs> well, kind of, but if you guys have seen that video where mm. they have a bunch of people lined up to do a race, mm. but then the other people on the other side that are like, uh, I guess, mediating the race are like, oh, if you if you have this, you have this, like, come forward. Mm. And how like most of like the black people were still at the starting line, but then most of the other people had got forward. And it's like okay in that race, and then they're like, see how like you know some of you guys got to sooner because you had unfair advantages and stuff like that. Oh wow, yeah, yeah. I know what yeah. you're talking about. Yeah. yeah, it's like the same thing because like they're just saying, oh, it's fine as long as you're on the same field. And it's like, no, it's not. Just no, it's because, not. Like you will have that like yeah, you will have that disadvantage. Just like, you're going to have disadvantages. Yeah, like like generational... this generation is just going to have disadvantages. Yeah, yeah. we're not in a, a booming economic growth. Stage. And that's what's crazy is people don't understand that like, gener generational wealth is such a strong thing, especially in America. Like, oh, if you have God. wealth, it gets passed down, passed down, passed down, passed down. And unless, like, somebody jumps out of it, either ruins your wealth or, like, Blows becomes, all hookers and coke. Yeah, or becomes, like, f successful and does well with it, then, you know, you kind of yeah. leave that economical chain. But, like, currently, it's really, really hard. It's really difficult. Because, like, depending on how much money your parents have is, like, where, what school you'll go to, if you get a good degree, if you go to a good college, right, mm -hmm. what job you'll get, and then you'll just back in the same thing. Where you're born, off your, what you look like. Yeah, it's that's also a plays huge, factors, huge you know? Player, so, yeah. like, I, I love the message of the song. Mm -hmm. Let's keep going. I'll rewind it. Let's keep going. No one said daddy. Can't have my daddy, 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 da
make it jump with the OG got the song more can it they think they got the show on me man can't touch me I love that. Yeah, I love the lines here. But I really like his dance move, right? Yeah. Where he's like running in place and can't go anywhere. And I like, love that. It's really, the dancing is really, and I really like that we're looking at the dance practice of this, right? Mm -hmm. It's really telling a story in its own, mm -hmm. which is so cool, which is like so hard in most, like, most is like all about being sexy. You're like, oh yeah, I'm show off these air players. Uh. Mm -hmm. You know, and this, like, <laughs> It's so entertaining. It's also, so I love their outfits. Tells story. Got a couple people with the teams on and shit. Dude, like, dude. <laughs> I just love it. I, I love it. what they're doing. Is like yeah. they're they're dancing and their dancing is telling a story, but it's also mm. in a very trolly manner where it's like they're making fun of them. Yeah, like, like they're kind of just looking at like this older generation. Like you guys. Are being idiots like are you guys serious? yeah you like, guys are not opening your eyes to what actually yeah. is happening because yeah. we are working our butts off and like the ones who work harder will get ahead hopefully but like if you just try to do a part-time job and i'm sure they struggle with this we struggle with the same thing right like as a struggling artist which is what we are is struggling artists um we do have to work part-time or full-time on the mm -hmm. side just to pay our bills yeah just While so you're we can come to youtube chasing your your passion yeah. and stuff so like I, I mean, like barely break even. It's, yeah, you know, yeah, it's literally, it's just, yeah. it's just how it goes. So definitely understand the struggle that's going mm -hmm. on and that they're laying out. And maybe you guys understand us a lot more than we think. And you guys sent us this video, so you can tell us that you understand us. Thank Respect. You. We'll go. Namaste. We'll go back to ten seconds. <laughs> You know what I think the message of that part was mm. is I think they're they're saying this is there's a difference between someone who's just working hard mm -hmm. and what the older generation is referring to is oh you just gotta work hard you'll be successful mm -hmm. and tryhards. So they're saying like they're tryhards, mm -hmm. and I think the difference is like tryhards are people that like are going to work hard yes, but they're going to do whatever it takes to succeed and they will be successful. Mm -hmm. But it's not just because they're working hard; it's because they're passionate about what mm -hmm. they're doing, what they're working for. And so stuff. I think there's three groups here if you want to break it down like that. There's the silver spooners mm -hmm. there's the tryhards and then there's the people who are just going to work the part-time jobs and they get, literally work for fruitless labor yeah or even a full-time and like stuck, work yeah. hard but like never achieve anything because yeah. you're stuck in like the rat race yeah that's really cool i also mm -hmm. really like i like this whole message i like this last little part where they're like oh we're tryhards we're gonna live together or whatever mm -hmm. and i think that's like a really good idea and like we talk about this a lot it's like you're only as good as the people you surround yourself with correct and so like if you don't set yourself up with like supportive friends and like inspirational friends and also like mm -hmm. friends that are going to like go places right you're also going to get stuck and you get stuck in that like hole with them and i think that's really cool they're like we're all tryhards we're going to live together i don't know if that's exact like maybe there was a different translation for that but i thought it was a really cool idea if that's well i think for. that it also can mean we're all tries we're all live together because like they're also saying uh oh there it was yeah, so I think that it's also together. saying that, like, they're basically calling out to anyone else who's like them. Yeah. Who's going to be a tryhard in life, going yeah. to, like, chase their, like, people like us, they're, like, want to chase their passions. Mm -hmm. And, like, no matter how ridiculous it is or how many people yeah. tell you you can't, they're like, hey, we all got to stick together. Mm -hmm. You know, because, like, low key, they're, that's the best type of people, in my opinion. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, oh, is, absolutely. Is the people that, like, like are grinders. very passionate, the grinders. Yeah. yeah, like, 
won't settle for less. You yeah, know? it's the people who get upset when they fail, right? Like, yeah. and we saw like with them, like behind the scenes, right? Them crying, like I, I think it was Jim and it was Jim crying. And crying because his voice yeah. cracked. Yeah, yeah, and it's like it's or like that crying, crying passion and like that disappointment in your own self because you are your hardest critic. Critic will also lead you to be a better person. Yeah, because it just means you're going to try harder, you know? God damn it, Judy, you suck. Let's do better. <laughs> yeah. So, like, oh, I God, mean, okay. I think that's what, yeah. what they're saying is, like, let's all stick together. Let's all stand up. Let's show not only these older generations, like the Silver Spooners mm-hmm. and stuff, and yeah. but also people that are just working hard at, like, a dead-end job. But, like, mm-hmm. hey, like, you can do this. You but can, it's not just about working hard. Because people, yeah. I think that's a big message of this, is people have a misconception from those older generations of like, hey, if I work hard, I'll be successful. It's like, that's not necessarily mm-hmm. true. Like, there's other factors to play into it. And I love that part of this message because mm-hmm. it's it's very true to, like, people like us because we yeah. can't just work hard at jobs. Yeah. And, like, sure, even if, like, you become, like, no, dude, making I, six I, figures a year at, like, yeah. a big company or something, it's like, yeah, but you're still not, for me, that's still not the life I would want to live. Yeah. I want to be an there's, entertainer. And there's always going to be something else that holds you back, right? Mm-hmm. So, for me, it was, like, it was my mouth. Like, I'm very open-spoken and, like, I'm very not held back. And when I was working in the military, that's not a good thing. So, got you in a lot of trouble. Yeah, it got me in a lot of trouble. So, like, <laughs> as far as, like, pushing forwards, I was a really good worker. I was really hard worker. I was really motivated. And it was really good at what I did. But because of how, like, I held my own opinions and, like, I stood my own ground, I was a target for ridicule and yeah. uh, made an example of. So. Exactly. And I think we both agreed to this, that, like, at the end of the day, we choose... We'll become Hokage. Yes. Uh, we choose that we don't want to work for other people and have mm-hmm. our, our livelihoods rely on other no. people or business. It's for ourselves, you know? Yeah, I mean, again, it's like YouTube, but like still, like yeah. it's dependent on us. It's dependent if we get up, we do our videos yeah, every we day. Do, if we put in the work and we grind, like we have been doing, we will get the views and we will get new fans and we'll build a bigger community. We'll build, like we'll find new artists, we'll find yeah. new inspiration for music. And then also have like yeah. fans that like We're expect us to. Shit again. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, have fans that expect us if to. If you guys want another TED Talk, go check out our page. Patreon because we're going to drop the porn singer on there hopefully we did a lot of deep talking yeah we did that was so uh we'll finish the song out give you our final thoughts and then we'll wrap up yeah They're such good dancers. <laughs> and translated literally, Tryhard is a smaller bird and Solar Spoon is a bigger, faster, but that's why they're dancing like birds. Oh, the little... That's yeah. so cool. I think I, I think I read something about that too, or maybe like in a comment or something where... Mm. Oh, I mean, it's over, but uh, they were talking about how a theme of this was there was like this little tiny bird... Um, because Babsy is is referring to that bird, and I think it's like called like cow tit or something like that. It's literally what the bird is called, or like it's like a translation. Cow-tit. Yeah, like cow tit. Yeah. We'll look this up. No, oh, uh, and so like, want to go and take yeah. that, and so yeah, it's like referring to like those birds, and then like the bigger birds are like the um, like the cranes, or I think it was like like a crane or something mm. like that, and like how like that's kind of re- representative of like the two generations. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. so I think that's like really interesting. I don't, I don't remember everything about that comment, so I'm sure there's a lot more yeah. deeper into it. And I'm sure you guys will kind of enlighten us and take us yeah. down that whole chain. Of Absolutely, what's going on there, but, but you know, I mean, I love that. I love that video. Yeah, what uh, a great message. Great uh, message. They've been on it. Born singer was amazing, and we really like. I, I really hope you guys like super watch, inspirational like go us. and watch that. You know, yeah. people are already on the Patreon can watch it. Yeah, I'm so fucking mad. I'm literally so mad yeah. that like we can't post it on YouTube because like that was definitely one of my put favorite. Hard into that one. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there was yeah, just okay. so much real stuff. I mean, if you've seen Born Singer, like you know, like yeah. that's like the stuff it's talking about, and you know, we like to go on our TED talks and stuff. Yeah, we do. Go on TED talks. <laughs> so, no, but I mean, like ultimately, that like I love that. Obviously, the dancing and that yeah. with the note at the end, like the birds kind of makes sense. You know, it's doing like yeah, a little flappy does, and yeah. shit. Uh, great messages all around. Beautiful throughout that. Again, like I feel like BTS really does address some of the things that aren't as commonly talked about mm. in society, and I think that that's really cool. Yeah. I, I just think that, like, that's amazing to bring, like, these type of topics yeah, to light. It's... Like, with Born Singer, they did. Mm-hmm. Again, you know, well, watch no, on the Patreon, but yeah. I also, I, I think it's really ad- admirable. Admirable? Admirable. Thank you. 
uh, for them because like it's so easy like once you become famous and like you're just like oh I got stacks and you'll see like rappers singing about like fake it till you make it right mm -hmm. they've made it and still here they are making music about like hey look like this like was the working not class easy and for stuff. us yeah, yeah this is for you guys and I know they make a lot of music for ARMY which is so amazing yeah directly uh, I, for their fans yeah I think it's just brilliant what they're doing absolutely I mean like you just like you can't go wrong with BTS, you know? Like, you're always going to find a song in BTS repertoire that is going to apply to you yeah. or is going to help you through something, yeah. you know? And I, I love I that. Whether, like, it's just, like, the fun dancing songs where you're just having a good time or it's the the more serious songs that have serious topics, yeah. you know? Or whether it's the dog barking in the background because he completely agrees. And you guys should also completely agree with how awesome BTS is. And if you do, then go ahead and leave this little bird emoji down oh, there for the, for the bat seed, yeah. like cow tip bird or whatever like that. I'll find a good one. You'll see it. Uh, just so we know who the real fans are yeah. and if you enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. We really hope you... Like and subscribe. Yeah. Consider checking out our Patreon. And yeah. We'll see, see you guys you. in the next one. just watch from checkup. Matter of fact, just stop in the flex up. Matter of fact, just know I'm finna blow up. Wait, 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 hold up, is it too late? Just have to break a straight.